Have you ever got tired of getting beaten over and over in Blight Ball? All because of your tiny, lazy, shaky, clumsy, rustic, muddy, rickety, freaking dislocated ass fingers cannot click fast. You wanna have this by the end of the video? Well guess what, you don't have to be worried anymore because I got the perfect solution for you inside this video in order to click faster in Blade Ball. Well, firstly first, in order to click faster, your mouse must always take the precedence over anything else no matter what. Not only because good gaming mice can offer you a high amount of CPS and different clicking methods, but overall they can bring you better gaming experience in general and its shape is designed to make you feel comfortable when holding the mouse, which somewhat diffuses the tense atmosphere during your combat. So yeah, it's not mandatory, but you should consider buying one of them. However, 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 though, I understand that some of y'all haven't really made it out of the hood yet, and you're still struggling to make money, and you can't really afford a good gaming mouse, and that's exactly why this video is going to be divided into three different parts that you don't really want to miss out. So the first part is going to be for the people who don't really got a good mouse, or that their mouse is basically not specifically built for gaming. Second part is going for the people who actually got them racks on them, you feel me, and actually can afford their actually first... <laughs> yeah! And last but not least, for the third part, I'm going to share with you some of my tips and situational and strategic plays to counter those high CPS players or those auto clickers out there. So, like and subscribe, sit back and relax, and trust me, you want to watch until the end of the video because this is the perfect opportunity for you to learn how to click faster. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. First title is going to be High CPS with Bad Now. So as you might have already known, uh, in the, inside this game there are two ways to block. Well, first one is obviously clicking, but you can also use your F key on your keyboard in order to block the ball. So what you're going to do, you're going to spam the F key while clicking on your mouse. And you can actually get a decent amount of CPS with this. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. So here I'm going to set the AI skill to extreme. And we're going to be spamming our F key while clicking on the mouse. As you can see, I'm normal clicking, I'm getting a decent amount of CPS right now because I'm playing the F key and I actually won, what the hell? However, if you think that this is not enough and this is kind of slow and you probably want to learn this clicking method called jitter clicking. So yeah guys, it's just basically vibrating your fingers in order to click faster. And I'll be honest, I'm super horrible at jitter clicking so I'm not even going to bother giving you the instructions on how to do it. But yeah, you get the point. And if you still think that this is slow, but which I don't even know why, but you're definitely wrong because my friend Zoro has been doing this to grind his way all the way to the number one spot on the leaderboard. Which is just totally insane. If you don't believe me, bro, then just look at his gameplay. So yeah, shout out to him. Make sure to check him out because he's really, really, really good at the game. Now let's move on to the second part for the people who actually got the money. So now you're ready to afford your first ever gaming mouse. How exciting, but here comes the question. And to answer this question, my advice for you is to get the ones that can double click. Now what does it mean if a mouse can double click? I'm gonna be answering it later on in the video, but for now, you're gonna have to do some research before deciding what mouse to get. So what are the criteria for a good mouse? Now unfortunately, I cannot name any specific ones, because I don't want to advertise those brands for free. Any mouse brands that are watching this, please sponsor me. And now that your mouse arrived, it's time to learn to butterfly click. And listen carefully, otherwise you're not going to be able to butterfly click if these steps are not done. First of all, you want to download your mouse software, which in my case is going to be the Glorious model of software, because that's literally my mouse. Once it is open, you're gonna you wanna navigate to the debounce time, which lets you adjust the debounce time. You wanna set it all the way to the lowest, which in my case is gonna be 4 ms, and you can actually set it to like 0 ms depending on your mouse. So by doing this, it actually makes the mouse have the ability to double click. So how do you do it? It's actually quite simple. All you have to do is to use the middle part of your middle finger to practice double clicking. It's gonna take a decent amount of time for you to master it, but once you did, you wanna apply the same thing to your index finger and then use both of the fingers to tap on the mouse. And eventually you will learn how to butterfly click to the point where you can get a decent amount of CPS with this. And what I mean by decent is consistent 23 CPS. Wait, what you say? You don't want to drag click? Well, absolutely no problems, because I'm going to teach you how to drag 
click how exciting is that first thing first you want to go ahead and search for mouse that can drag click now i know that some of y'all might argue with me that there are mice that can butterfly click and drag click at the same time but but if you want to get the full experience of drag clicking but i recommend you get the mouse that is mostly known for its amazing drag clicking ability again i'm not gonna name any brands here unless they sponsor me of course so now that you've got your drag clicking mouse it's time to apply some tape onto the mouse because if you didn't know Wait, where did it go? Um, anyway, if you didn't know, the texture of the tape actually helps your finger, like, bounce more frequently when you drag on it. I don't even know if that makes sense, but, um, once you get used to it, then when you drag click, it should probably look something like this. So how do you actually do it? Now, I'll be honest, I don't even know how to explain it to you, but it's, it's just basically dragging your finger onto the mouse. Like, what am I supposed to say, bro? Like, just drag, like, use the tip of your finger, bro. Like, just drag. However, one of the drawbacks that I want to mention though, the CPSs you get when you drag click is kind of like volatile. You cannot really get like a consistent 30 CPS or so. You only get high CPS in such a short amount of time. So I recommend you learn how to like short drag click because it's really good in Blade Ball. Anyway, it's time for the last part of the video, how to counter high CPS players or those who auto-click. Now, these are just some of my personal advices, so take them for granted, please. And let's get right into it. Now, the very, very, very number one thing that you should do is to stay away from them as far as possible. And it's very important to keep them away from you to avoid them from using their auto-clicker. And I know what you're about to ask, what if they trying to get close to you and then auto-click? Now, this is when these type of abilities come in handy to keep distance from them but what if they're still able to get close to you and don't worry i've got the perfect method for this you first want to try to click fast to keep up with them and then just randomly and unexpectedly dash away from them and for instance this is a video of me doing it to a bot as you can see this is how you do it so by doing this, you will make them misclick when they were on the momentum to click fast. And this will result in a cooldown for them. And you can eventually take the advantage of this and win by passing the ball back to them. And here's the video to demonstrate how it works. In this clip that I'm about to show you, I actually lost. But my enemy was doing the exact thing that I just told you to me. And by the way, I was actually using an auto clicker, so yeah. What you click, go. bro? What do you mean click? And here's another simple way to counter those high CPS players. You basically want to bait them the ball. What I mean by this is to fake hitting the ball, but technically you did not hit it, which will make them confused and misclick. And here's the video of me doing it. And there are many ways to do it, but this is just one of my examples.